Today's great breakfast recipe that you are going to love, it's a lemon poppy seed cloud pancake. Yes, that's what I said, lemon poppy seed cloud pancakes. So start off by whisking your dry ingredients. It's two cups of all-purpose flour and two teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm already thinking to myself, hmm, that seems high. But pancakes have a tendency to have a high level of leavener because you wanna get that really nice lift. And so it's generally more than my general rule, which is one teaspoon of baking powder per cup or half a teaspoon of baking soda. Three quarters of a teaspoon, of course, salt. You're probably tired of hearing me talk about leavener, right? I'm like, I've heard that all before. <laughs> Three tablespoons of poppy seeds and then just whisk all of those ingredients together. You also need a tablespoon of lemon zest. That probably will be two lemons. Don't, don't get rid of the lemon. You need lemon juice too, three tablespoons, but not yet. Not that you were gonna throw it away. You're like, I use that zest. I'm gonna get rid of that lemon. That would be bad. There we go. Now that gets whisked into the dry and then you can set this aside while you deal with your wet ingredients. You'll need a total of six egg whites and two yolks. So you'll separate your eggs. I'm taking my life in my own hands and separating directly over the KitchenAid bowl. Dun, dun, dun. If you leave a little egg yolk in there, there's a chance that your egg whites might not whip up, which would be a nightmare. So I have two eggs in this bowl. That's where I'm gonna add the rest of my wet ingredients. Okay, so to the egg yolks, add one and a third cups of buttermilk three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of Lyle's Golden Syrup. You can use honey, but Lyle's Golden Syrup has a really great flavor and it's made with cane sugar, which is really nice as opposed to corn syrup. And it's really, really thick, barely goes off the spoon, but it has a really interesting and unique flavor. And you can find it at places like Whole Foods. And supermarkets if they have a wide selection of imported food. Whisk it together. One more ingredient to make it extra lemony, three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice from those lemons you zested. These seem juicy. Yeah, these are juicy. So one lemon in this instance, I think will give you three tablespoons. Set this aside while you beat some egg whites. Beat the whites until they're stiff peaks. This is gonna give additional lightning. So there's the chemical leavener and then this is a mechanical leavener. Chemical and mechanical. While that's beating, I'm going to whisk my wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. It smells so lemony. Don't overmix it if there are a few lumps, no worries. Classic with pancake batter. I'm gonna leave it like that so I can fold. My whites are almost done. You have to be really careful when beating egg whites that do not have sugar in them because they're very easy to overbeat. Sugar sort of protects the egg whites from overbeating, so just keep an eye, keep a close eye. Then fold about one third or whisk about a third of the egg whites into the pancake batter to lighten it. It's kind of heavy right now. Half the batter is right now in my whisk. This is a super festive recipe. And because of the egg whites in them, they're really light and fluffy. Gilding the lily. And just fold in the remaining whites into your batter. The key is to be very, very careful here not to overfold so that it maintains as much of the lightness as possible that there is being added by folding in these whites. So the more you fold, the more the whites break down and then the less light they'll be. That's it, I'm stopping. You see there's a lot of streaks left. That's exactly what you're looking for now. You are ready to cook. I have a griddle, which I think is gonna make my life so much better. I'm not completely positive, but people tell me that it's much easier to cook pancakes on a griddle. And so I'm attempting to use one because I don't know if you've ever seen me try to make pancakes before, but I'm kind of disastrous at it. I always burn them, they cook unevenly. 
So this is my new gig, guys. I'm using a griddle. It's heated to 350 degrees, and I just rubbed it with a little oil. You can spray with pan if that's what you prefer. Then what you want to do, these pancakes, well, they can be any size you want, really, but I'm going to do about a third of a cup per pancake. I feel like using a measuring cup's not the best way to go. I'm going to just spoon it on. And then what you do is you cook them until you see bubbles around the edges and they start to look dry. So right now the reaction I'm having is it doesn't seem like it's cooking, like it's not hot enough, which is probably the exact right temperature to cook pancakes at. And maybe that's always my problem. Should take about two to three minutes to cook the first side and then one to two minutes on the second side after the bubbles form around the edges. Okay. Like, I don't hear any noise. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cooking makes noise, right? Oh yeah, I guess it is. I mean, something's happening, right? I think my batter is a little bit thick, which is making it not bubble around the edges, but I checked and it's golden on the bottom. So I'm going to flip it. We'll see what happens. Oh, that might be the most perfect pancake I have ever made. And I am a total electric griddle convert now for pancakes only. Even if it didn't sound like it was cooking, it was cooking perfectly. Oh my gosh, this is life changing. You guys are all thinking like, yeah, use a griddle for making pancakes, it's obvious. Okay, so if you wanna make these ahead, go ahead and preheat your oven to 225 so that you can keep them warm while you're working on batches. Put a little pat of butter on and then stack another pancake on top. Like I was saying, you can keep these warm in the oven while you do successive batches and then serve them all at once or just have people stand around waiting and then serve them right off the griddle, which I'm kind of into having people stare at you while you're cooking. So fun. <laughs> a little bit of ricotta cheese, some blueberries, <laughs> and then some more of that syrup, the Lyles. If you find that it's really thick, like this is pretty thick, you could warm it up just a little bit and it would be easier to drizzle, but this is prettier because then it, you can see it, it stays in its place. That butter all over the place. There you go. Those are real pancakes, like amazing pancakes, like the best pancakes I've ever made. These are lemon poppy seed cloud pancakes and you're gonna wanna run right out and make them because they're probably the best pancakes I've ever had. Um, that's saying a lot.